Navy boot camp was not an easy experience for me. Or for anyone who endured it. For the first three weeks, I was convinced my life was in jeopardy. The Navy wasn't trying to train me. It was trying to kill me. <laughs> I shall ever remember when Sunday rolled around after the first week. We received welcome news from the chief petty officer. Standing at attention on the drill ground in a brisk California breeze, we heard his command. Today, everybody goes to church. Everybody, that is, except me. I'm going to relax. All you Catholics, you meet in Camp Decatur and don't come back until 1,500 hours. Fall out! Those of you who are Jewish, you meet in Camp Henry, fall out. The rest of you Protestants, you meet in the theater at Camp Farragut, fall out. Instantly there flashed through my mind the thought, Monson, you're not a Catholic, you're not a Jew, you're not a Protestant, you're a Mormon. So you just stand here. I can assure you that I felt completely alone. Courageous, but determined, yes, but alone. As we go about living from day to day, it's almost inevitable that our faith will be challenged. We may at times find ourselves surrounded by others, and yet standing in the minority. Or even standing alone concerning what is acceptable and what is not. It's, it's not really me. Do we have the moral courage to stand firm for our beliefs, even if by so doing we must stand alone? You guys shouldn't be looking at either. It is essential that we are able to face with courage whatever challenges come our way. And just what do you guys call yourselves? Until that very moment, I had not realized that anyone was standing beside me or behind me on the drill ground. Almost in unison, each of us replied, Foreman, sir. Why you guys go find some place to meet? I don't come back until 1,500 hours. Fall out! It is difficult to describe the joy that filled my heart. As we marched away, I thought of the words of the rhyme I had learned in primary years before. Dare to be a Mormon. Dare to stand alone. Dare to have a purpose firm. Dare to make it known. May we ever be courageous and prepared to stand for what we believe. And if we must stand alone in the process, may we do so courageously, strengthened by the knowledge and reality we are never alone when we stand with our Father in heaven. <laughs>